Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy and in this beginner's guide video I want to look at how you could find out which weapons are missing from particular maps so that you could add the ones you wanted back in. So if you didn't know already, there's different weapons spawn in on say Chernerus, um, uh, Livonia um, and Sakal, which is pretty cool. And uh, the reason why that the devs do this, well, one of the reasons why the devs do this is that each map has its whoop, has its own, <laughs> what have I done? Each map has its own flavour, but also it drives on public servers anyway, the fact that you can go to Chernerus and then get the weapons you want, say, for example, or the gear you want, and then go to Livonia and you take the gear with you on a public server. And then go to Zakal and you take that gear with you. It's not something that many people know about. However, you might want all of the map, all of the guns available, for example, on your Chernerus server. So how can we how can we find out what guns are on the server and what guns are missing? That sort of stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna delve into the mission files here. Now I highly recommend that um, you have uh, get DZ on your PC. Um, and when you get DZ on your PC you'll have access to, in games and tools in your library, DAISY server. And you can install that. You don't run it, you install it. And that gives you a local server on your PC that you can do testing with. But what it gives you as well is all the server files in a nice, easily uh, updatable manner. So what that means we can do is, for example, if we go into, let's go up here. So this is kind of where the server is. So here we have DAISY server. Uh, C program files x86 steam steam apps common so we go into daisy server and then we what we're looking for is the mp missions so I have the mp missions and here we have all the missions and you can see I use this as a local server for testing so we've got some custom maps here for pc but if we go into daisy offline.chernerus plus and then we go into the db directory we can get to the types file and if we open the types file with notepad plus plus we can see we have this big long list of all the things that are going to be spawning in and other things that don't actually spawn in but exist in the game and we could go through them and we can look for things that don't have a nominal number so if something doesn't have a nominal number and it's not something odd like an event <laughs> right or a zombie um, something like that you could always add something to it so for example in this particular case you can see we've got AK 101 two of them are meant to spawn in with a minimum of one um, and its usage name is military and its category is weapons however the AK 101 black doesn't spawn in so one of the things we could do is we could add that in by adding the nominal to two the minimum to one and then adding the usage underneath military just double check that it's counted in the map so it's counted the map one we will get rid of crafted in this particular point what used to happen in the game is that you used to be able to have spray paint and you could when you got a gun you could spray paint it so you could make your ak 101s for example black or green or your ak 74 so you could, get, you could go through and do that and you could look for the weapons that way you could look for things that you know have a nominal of zero be very careful about things like cars and zombies don't make them spawn in like this because they spawn in a different way um, but you could go in like that way now the other cool thing we can do is you could also if you install notepad plus plus and i'll put a link in the description below this video that's the notepad um, text editing software i'm using here you can also install the notepad plus plus compare plugin which is really powerful and this enables us to work in a slightly different way so what we could do is here we know if you look up here it says Chernerus Plus. So we've got the Chernerus types opened up. So what we could do is if we go back to our file explorer and instead we go into daisyoffline.enoc for example, which is Livonia, and we go into um, DB and we open up the types in Notepad Plus Plus, you can see they're side by side here. But once we've installed the pl uh, compare plugin, we can just go plug in, plugins, compare, compare. And it's going to compare the two files now there will there will be an awful lot of differences because each map is balanced differently in terms of the different number of um uh, food for example that could spawn in lots and lots of differences like that so it's not easy to quickly find things like this um, if you're comparing these what you would have to do is have a 
you know, a cup of coffee, you know, probably some snacks, and slowly you work your way through, and you're just looking for these differences. You see, it highlights differences, and so you'd be looking for the weapons, and then any weapons that were different. So, for example, what we can see straight away here is that in Livonia, the AK-74 doesn't spawn in. Okay, as we can see, um, none of them are meant to spawn in. It's flagged as a dynamic event loot event, dynamic event loot thing. Um, so if we wanted to spawn it in normally, we can see like it does in Chernus, which is this one. You could just copy that across, but I'd probably recommend you don't use tier four on Livonia. I would say change the number to, to six, change the minimum to four, get rid of the dynamic event loot to zero, make sure it still says count in map one so you don't get swamped with stuff, category weapons, usage military, and maybe value equals tier two and tier three, and, and put them into there. You can then save that, re-upload this to your server, um, and then you'd then get AK-74s in. And so you can just work your way through your server. Please remember as well, before you upload to your server, that you use something like, oh, a XML validator, online XML validator. So I'll put that in the uh, link, that link in the description below the video as well. So you can go through there and you could add the guns back in. There's a few other ways of doing it as well. What you could also do is you could also do something like this. So you could have the types open, for example, for Chernerus Plus. And then what we could do is if we go to CFG. Um, spawnable types which is where is it? there it is if we open up cfg spawnable types now this is a different file what cfg spawnable types does is it tells the game when you spawn something in um spawn it in with these things so for example if we just take here so when a boonie hat blue spawns in on this server it'll have a 35 percent chance of spawning in with something and then of those of that 35% chance, there's a three quarter or 75% chance it's going to be a fish hook. And it's a 25% chance it's going to be the fish, fish, fish hook jig thing. So that's what it does. It also can handle damage and stuff. So if we, for example, look for uh, M4A1 is always a good one. We can find the weapons now the difference with the cfg spawnable types file is that it puts all the weapons together <laughs> which is really useful so what you can do is you can go to the top of here see it says weapons there and literally it has every single weapon as far as i know that could possibly in the get be in the game independently of a map because just because an item has an entry in cfg spawnable types doesn't mean that it's going to spawn in the game. That really depends on the types. So what you could do is you go down and you go, okay, so which of these guns do I like? So MP5K, all right, so MP5K, that's a submachine gun. Go to the types, do control F, paste in MP5K. Uh, in fact, we probably just want to do it, not like that, you'd probably want to do it like, mp5k like that find all in current document there we go so there is an mp5k so we can click on that so we know that on this server yes the mp5k does spawn in so what you could do is you could scroll down and you could look and generally as i say you'll find that i'm probably going to get this the wrong way around but for example sakal has a lot of russian weapons but doesn't have that many nato weapons and where the other maps have a mix of them and you can go through and you can spawn the other things but again please remember that when you're changing a nominal and a minimum make sure you check out the flags because you always want to make sure that you've got count in map so the thing doesn't continuously keep spawning in and you want to make sure that you understand what dynamic event loot equals zero or one means and what that means is if it's one it means it will spawn in at a dynamic event only or normally only so, for example, a helicopter crash, or a military convoy, or a military train, or depending on what it is, it could be a police event as well. So you go through, and you could do that. So you literally could go through your CFG spawnable types, just looking at the weapons and going through. Another way that you could do it as well, if you go over to our friend Wobo, and I'll put a link to his website as well, you have something like his weapon info tool for Daisy. And in this one, you can see we've got all the cat categories of the weapons, and then we've got the different weapons underneath. 
So you can click on sniper rifle and it has all the different weapons. The only tricky thing is, is that sometimes the names um, here don't always match up with the names in the server. So you might have to look up. So the DMR is normally the M14 um, and you get things like that. Like the VSS is, uh, no, that, that's probably the same. But this again gives you an idea of what guns are in the game and then you can check that against your server file. Just be aware, of course, that often things have different names. The easiest way I find to do it is by comparing the types, for example, that's what I do, and just go through and then copy across the ones that I want. Once you're done, save it, validate it, upload it, restart your server, and those changes will take effect. Now, I did have a look around to see if there was a definitive list of different weapons that were on different um, maps but i couldn't find one this is the daisy wiki and i'll put a link to this in the description below the video as well however if you find or have or know where is a definitive list of the different weapons that are on the different maps please let me know with a link in the comments section and then i can you know pin that and that will be a common thing that we can all use to improve our servers so there we go so hopefully that's helpful hopefully it's given you an idea of how you can compare types files to look for the differences so you could remove those differences for weapons or it could be for other stuff as well um, or perhaps use the cfg spawnable types just have a look at the list of weapons and see what you might be missing and then add them into your server if you found this video useful hit like if you want to see them press subscribe and what i'm doing with these daisy tutorial videos i'm trying to go back a little bit to the basics answering as many of the questions i can that maybe i've done a video about but maybe it was included in another subject as well so if you've got any questions you'd like to know about modding servers for console or pc or playing daisy as well please let me know do me a favor though if you wouldn't mind do a quick google search first for the subject you want to know about just to see if i or someone else has already done a video already and then if there isn't let me know in the comments saying could we please have a video about so and so and i'll add it to my to-do list but thank you very much and i'll see you again soon